This is now video number two, which will be very specific to panic and panic attacks. So you say, man, I get those all the time. What the heck are, where do they come from? Why do they even exist? I don't like them. May they go, right? So what, what is a panic attack? And why is it called an attack? And what happens in a panic situation, right? So in the video prior, we talked about anxiety. Anxiety has to do with the future. And when our worry and concern gets so big about the future, and it could also have to do with the past, for example, if depression kicks in, we get to a place of what's called fight or flight. So getting to a place of holy shnikes, I want to get out of this situation because it feels horrible. I feel like I'm going to die because that's typically what it is. It feels like you're going to die. So you want out ASAP. I want to live. It's fight or flight, right? It's fight or flight mode. But we get there because our thoughts and our emotions that we feel mainly in our torso, right? We can't feel emotions in our elbow. Hope that. I hope that's not news for anyone, right? But we get to a place where our thoughts are so drastically negative about the future or our emotions are so drastically negative about the past, meaning depression, that we can get to a place called, we can get to a place called panic where it's the holy shnikey moment, I gotta get out, I don't wanna be here. And what happens is, and we'll, I'll talk about this in the fourth video, where I give you some tools about not resisting, because what we resist will persist. The idea is to embrace and allow. I know it's weird at the moment, but once you understand that these emotions are not that big of a deal and you actually are in control of everything you feel through your thoughts and your words that are based on your beliefs, whoa, see that right there, that's magic. That's worth gold right there because that's what I had to learn 18 years ago when I was going through massive anxiety and panic attacks and I thought I was gonna die and then I became depressed and all this stuff. What I really had to learn is that, hold on a second, what's creating all this emotion, which is just energy and motion, are my thoughts. What I think about releases chemicals into my body. My body says, whoa, wrong thought. So it creates anxiety, the chest gets tight, right? All these physical attributes kick in. You know what I'm talking about because you obviously you're going through this right now. That's why you're watching this video. But your question is, hey, can I get rid of this? Can I feel better? Can I get to a place where I'm just happy and free at all times and not really give a shit about anything that's negative. Negative stuff's gonna be out there, great, but do I have to react to them? The answer is no. Do I have to be controlled by them? And the answer is no. What if there are negative people around me? So what? How you show up and how you respond to those negative people is up to you. So in the course, we break down very specific tools to help you at every step of the way be able to deal with these small moments that may feel bad right now, but learning how to get through them and get to the other side to get to the place called happy and free is what it's all about. This was the conversation about panic attacks and panic and what it really is. It's fight or flight. We'll talk in video four about what to do and how to embrace and not resist because what you resist will persist. That's just an energetic law. That's it for this video. I'll see you in video number three where we break down what? That's right, depression.